All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Tennessee Titans in tonight's video. Preseason is officially over. Obviously, the Tennessee Titans just went undefeated. Uh, fun fact, Chicago Bears also went undefeated in preseason play, and that is just a sleepy prop. Like, it might be Titans-Bears might be the best week one slate game. I mean, it really might. It just sounds kind of crazy because of last year's Bears and last year's Titans. I'm telling you, man, I'm watching Will Levis play. Uh, I'm really impressed by the Tennessee Titans complete organization, specifically this summer, whether it's just Brian Callahan, whether it's you know, bringing in some running backs and Tony Pollard, whether it's bringing in a wide receiver and Calvin Ridley or Tyler Boyd, uh, you know, changing around the defense, changing the coach like the Tennessee Titans in general. This is one of the most exciting teams in the future, in my opinion here, and it's crazy because I don't care if you're going up against the Saints second team defense. I, I really don't care if you're going up against the Kansas City Chiefs first string defense. It doesn't matter to me. The eyes, Chico, they never lie. And when I watch Will Levis play professional football in the NFL, I realize this dude, like he's just a winner. Like he might not be a you know 35 touchdowns and you know eight interception Aaron Rodgers type of season. But Will Levis, to me, he's got that it factor. He's got that big-time playability. And that's somebody I want to build around. That's somebody I want to be around. I love Will Levis. Um, I'm really excited about the Tennessee Titans season. So let's talk a little bit about the preseason and your upcoming year in general. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with at least one Titans video every single week. Titans fans, if you try and get this video to 100 likes, that would seriously mean the world to me. So Will Levis played a handful of series today against the New Orleans Saints second team defense, whatever, who really gives a rat's ass. Um, in this game, he went 7 of 8 for 118 yards, averaging 15 yards per completion. Um, it didn't just end there. Malik Willis looked actually phenomenal. 3 of 4, 51 yards, including two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Once again, Malik Willis threw four throws, and he had two total touchdowns. Then he had Mason Rudolph, the backup, 11 of 15, 114 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. When I watch Will Levis play, man, and I, I I know I say, I actually got a comment about this in my last Titans video. Like, why do you keep saying this? Man, when I watched Will Levis against the Falcons and I watched him against the Steelers last year, one of the best defenses in the entire National Football League, and I watched this dude in prime time go head-to-head -head against Tua and the Miami Dolphins. This is a SEC dog, Will Levis. I just think there's something there. And obviously, your GM and your team, your organization also sees this. And that's why you brought in Calvin Ridley. That's why you brought in Tyler Boyd. That's why you brought in Tony Pollard. And you revamped the offensive line, specifically with Lloyd Cushenberry as the center position. The offensive line for the Tennessee Titans today, I don't care that you're going up against backups. Like, I literally don't care, man. They looked phenomenal. Like, Will Levis drives his possession specifically he had so much time to throw majority of the time it's like a completely new offense and i saw this crazy statistic that the tennessee titans have not scored over 30 points or 30 or more points since like the end of the 2021 season how's that a real statistic maybe it was the end of 2022 i don't think so i think it was the end of 2021 how is that a real statistic I loved Mike Vrabel. I loved Derrick Henry. I loved Ryan Tannehill's NFL career. But change needed to occur. And I feel like it was kind of obvious change needed to occur after the Tennessee Titans went. I think it was the first year it was a 17-game season. You guys went like 12 and 5, and you lost, you know, right away after getting the bye. And I feel like after that season, it was clear that you need more than Derrick Henry. And this has nothing to do with Derrick Henry or Ryan Tannehill or anything, but it was clear, like, let's, you have to score points, right? You can have one of the better defenses in the NFL, but you have to score points. You need a quarterback. You need somebody at the quarterback position, not named Ryan. So they draft Will Levis, and Will Levis throws eight touchdowns and only four interceptions, and oh, but his, his completion percentage was down and blah, blah, blah. One thing stood out when we made a whole video about this, Will Levis's deep ball throwing it's spot on. 
Like it's literally spot on. And I remember because you know, my favorite team's the Green Bay Packers. And I remember hearing a quote from like Aaron Rodgers. I think it was to Jordan Love, like checkdowns, they're everything. First down, like just move the freaking chains. And so I'm watching Will Levis's film last season. We're you know prepping for these Titans videos, and I'm thinking to myself, if you can just continue to get these first downs, minimize turnovers, you got a better offensive line. Will Levis could be just fine. And once again today, seven to eight, 118 yards, no, no interceptions. And we saw guys like Tony Pollard, five carries, 17 yards. Tajay Spears, four carries, 12 yards. I don't care if it's running back 1A and 1B. It doesn't matter to me. Tony Pollard is a huge ass deal coming to Tennessee because it's just a completely new offense. It's a completely new scheme. And I was reading actually an article on The Athletic. I don't have the author. I apologize here. But this was a quote, an excerpt that really stood out to me. And it's because of Brian Callahan, your new head coach. New head coach Brian Callahan kept teaching Levis, showing the second year pro film of established NFL quarterbacks to illustrate the finer details of the throw, how to read the receiver, how to better gauge his speed, when to pull the trigger, how much air to put on the ball, where to place the ball. And I'm watching Will Levis in preseason. And once again, I'm fully freaking aware that it's preseason football. And I'm watching these screens and I'm watching that 33 yard throw to Calvin Ridley today. And I'm thinking to myself, Will Levis is going to be just fine. But the bigger deal to me is not Will Levis and if he will be fine. Because once again, I think he will be a good NFL quarterback. But then you bring in DeAndre Hopkins when he comes back. You bring in Calvin Ridley. You bring in Tyler Boyd. You bring in Tony Pollard. You still have Tajay Spears. That tight end position, I hate to rag on the Titans. I'm not trying to rag on the Titans. I got a hiccup if you can't tell. The tight end room after this season probably needs to be revamped. I'm excited about Josh Wiley. Um, you know, it's not the worst tight end room in the NFL, but that is, you know, positional group that I am thinking that needs to be upgraded sooner rather than later. Uh, but on paper, it is pretty in intriguing. It's an exciting tight end room. If Will Levis has time to throw the football this upcoming season, I just think the Titans are going to be a good team. And a lot has to do with your GM and a lot has to do with your new head coach and obviously all these new additions. But once again, man, I'm just using my eyes and I'm watching Will Levis play football. And I'm like, I just think he will succeed. And I'm not saying he's going to go down as one of the best quarterbacks of all time. I'm definitely not saying that. But I am just saying people are crowning the Texans as the AFC South victors this upcoming year. And I'm thinking, I'm like, Jacksonville's good. Indianapolis is good. Tennessee doesn't even get talked about that, but they're good as well. You're younger, you're more fresh, you're cheaper. Like the Tennessee Titans, man, the, the long-term and the short-term outlook, I like it a lot. And just watching preseason today, final week of the year, final preseason game of the season, I just feel really good. And I haven't felt this confident offensively about the Tennessee Titans in, in a long time. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. But as always, give me a win-loss prediction from the Tennessee Titans down below. Peace.